While there's a general sense of optimism about the India growth story, the big worry here at the India Economic Summit is the fact that private investment is not picking up. To talk to us about what it is going to take for corporates to invest again is Mr. Baba Kalyani, Chairman and MD at Bharat Ford. So thanks very much for speaking to us here at the India Economic Summit. I want to begin by asking you uh, what you make of the general mood here. Uh, Everybody is talking about the fact that India is at an inflection point and that the government has taken a few steps to get us where we are. But what uh, the big sense of worry seems to be is that corporate India is not investing. You know, <coughs> that may not entirely be true. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to understand <coughs> that in manufacturing, investments don't happen every year. There's an investment cycle that kind of repeats every four or five years. Uh, the last investment cycle was somewhere in the 2008, 2010, 11 period. And uh, that has created a lot of capacities and unfortunately those capacities haven't been utilized because yeah. of the economic conditions that we have had uh, uh, in the economy, especially in the manufacturing sector, which actually degrew uh, uh, in the last two years of uh, the last government. Uh, Today what we are seeing is uh, all the new policy decisions that have been made, uh, uh, whether it's make in India, whether it's uh, related to defense, whether it's you know, uh, investments in railways, infrastructure, we're beginning to see a small trickle down effect that's beginning to come in into the industry. So we are seeing some growth momentum happening. The automotive sector uh, has been the first one to register growth. Yeah. We're seeing growth in the in the commercial vehicle sector. Uh, we now have GST coming in uh, in April, and I think that's a very good decision because after the GST comes in, uh, you know, it'll give another little boost uh, uh, to the system. And I think that's when you will start seeing private sector investments come in because we you need you need some little let's say boost uh, uh, to this growth machine. Uh, that we call the Indian manufacturing sector. We are, you know, the growth is happening, but it's at a very slow and steady rate. Right. We need a little bush. Right. And uh, you know, how long do you think it's going to take before the capex <coughs> cycle picks up? Because while there has been growth in certain pockets of the core infrastructure sector, roads, for instance, uh, have picked up. You know, power. You know, one of the sectors yeah. in which you yeah. have a presence yeah. uh, is lagging behind. And uh, you know, when do you believe capaci capacity utilization will pick up? But you know, if you look at the power equipment sector, inve those investments have just happened in the last one year. So uh, normally, I think you know, you make a big investment; it takes about four or five years uh, by the time uh, you are able to fill up the capacity. But the big growth uh, in the investment will come uh, when uh, we start seeing orders in the defense sector coming mm -hmm. out. We start seeing orders in uh, the railway sector coming out. And I think that's pretty much on the cards. I think it's just a few months away. Okay. And uh, uh, my my own gut feel, and which I said at the panel also, I see the next eight to twelve months as the period when we should start seeing a, uh, a higher uh, velocity as far as manufacturing is concerned, and therefore higher investments coming in. Right. You spoke about defense, and you know, Bharat Ford itself seems to have aligned itself quite well with you know the government's focus on defense and these other areas. Uh, how are you scaling uh, scaling up your capabilities in aerospace, for instance, or defense? And you know, what's the road ahead looking like? You know, we are, uh, we have we are scaling up. We yeah. have taken a slightly different approach uh, uh, in this. We have said that wherever we have core competence and core capabilities, a lot of defense products are forged. Yeah. So, you know, it's very natural for a company that uh, has high level of excellence in this area to, to get into this. And that's really what prompted us to get into this. I think uh, uh, the issues have been that uh, defense till now has been kind of a preserve uh, mm. of uh, state-owned uh, yeah. public sector enterprises and the Ordnance Factory Board and now with the new policy private sector is going to come in. So we have made investments in this sector but based you have on some order visibility going forward. You know in defense unless you see a piece of paper uh, with a contract uh, you can't say you have order visibility. So mm. to that extent we don't have a contract but 
you know, I think we know what the requirements are. Uh, that's pretty much uh, public knowledge. It's uh, the defense ministry has put that uh, system of information flow in terms of you know what they need and what they need to be made in India, etc. The whole make programs they are pretty much uh, available, and we know where we are good at. So you know we are quite confident that uh, uh, you know we will have some of these programs uh, within our system very soon. You know, in the medium term, do you believe that your focus on these areas uh, will, in some sense, offset the downturn that you're seeing in two of your other core areas, which is, of course, uh, you know, auto and oil and gas, and particularly the business in the U.S. You know, in the U.S., we have two headwinds. One yeah. is commercial vehicle, which is in a down cycle, but I think that down cycle will last only till the middle of next year, and then I think the, the up cycle will start again on the CV business in the U.S. On the oil and gas sector, which uh, went into almost a freeze uh, because uh, of uh, prices of uh, oil going going down to you know uh, in the mid 20s uh, uh, per barrel, is now already at 50. Yeah. So we're beginning to see some uh, pickup. Uh, we are not back to where we were, but hopefully you know these things they are cyclic. Uh, uh, so we will see some change. But you're right, in the medium term, if you look at the next three year period, I think a lot of business uh, from the Indian so-called capital goods space, which includes defense, which include railways, which includes uh, you know equipment manufacturing, etc., where we are focused on, uh, will help us uh, and help us create growth in our business. But you know, in particular, the trucking business, which has been under pressure for some time, and I think <coughs> JP Morgan has recently said that a recovery in 2017 also seems stretched. So when is that turnaround likely to happen? We see the latest reports I just read two yeah. days ago. We see uh, forecasts that by mid-2017, people are beginning to see some amount of rebound mm -hmm. uh, happening. Okay, you know, finally, uh, give us a sense of the overall outlook for the next uh, few quarters. I know you may not perhaps be able to speak numbers because you'll be getting into the silent period. I never speak numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, how are the next six months looking for Bharat Forge? You know, I, I think uh, as far as this year is concerned, we have already given uh, 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 our guidance for this year. Uh, you know, we see this year flattish, so, uh, but uh, we certainly see growth coming in uh, next year. And uh, hopefully, what kind of growth? If well, I, I won't say that, <laughs> but I, you know, I think uh, you know we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, and, and and you know, just to just to sort of end uh, with your focus in defense and aerospace, you know, h what part of the revenue do you hope that these areas will constitute in the longer run for Bharat Forge? You know, I, it's difficult to put a number on it because yeah. uh, uh, if you are on a, a defense platform. Uh, this can be pretty large numbers, yeah. okay, uh, and then it lasts for a long period of time. So uh, we are working on trying to be on at least two or three big platforms. Uh, so let's see what happens. I think we we all have to be optimistic. Uh, uh, I am optimistic about it, and I think uh, a lot of these things will happen in the next couple of months. All right, Mr. Kalani, thanks so much for talking to me. All right.